Hello and welcome to episode 12 of Grape Escapes by Cold Storage with me Fiona Stevens, the beer, wine and spirits buyer for the group. Now this week's theme is interesting whites. Now I love talking to you about those internationally well-known grape varieties like Sauvignon and Chardonnay but I really really love telling people about weird and wonderful wines that you might not necessarily sort of discover by yourself. They're often quite strange, they've got um, names sometimes that are really impossible to pronounce um, but with these wines you'll discover some real great treasures and here's three of my favourites to bring to you this week. I hope you enjoy them. First on my list is probably a grape that you may have heard of, um, but potentially a region you hadn't. So this is um, Chenin Blanc, and this is from South Africa, but it's from the Swartland region. These wines are exclusive to cold storage, and we wanted to bring them because not only are they beautiful, fun labels, but really interesting style as well. So Chenin Blanc is normally grown in the Loire Valley in France um, and in South Africa. Obviously you get riper styles of, um, of Chenin in South Africa because it's a lot hotter than the Loire. Um, but Ben Snyman, the winemaker here for Survivor, um, actually adds some extra nuances that aren't sort of necessarily common to um, Chenin Blanc, and that's um, barrel aging and, um, and also barrel fermentation, which creates really complex, rich, delicious wines, but still playing on that theme of sort of orchard fruit profile and bracing acidity that you get with Chenin Blanc. This one is really full flavoured, and we've got delicious apricot and peach notes with sort of hints of vanilla from that oak aging. Um, then we've got this really creamy mouthfeel but it's perfectly balanced with this sort of lime zest acidity freshness that you get towards the end. It's very versatile because it's got quite a lot of sort of flavour and body. You can pair it with things like roast chicken, um, it's also really good with pork dishes as well and even things like butternut squash, those kind of um, more uh, sort of full flavoured vegetarian dishes absolutely wonderful it's normally only 32 dollars but we've got it on offer for you at the moment for 27. i love chenin blanc and i really hope you give this one a try Second on my list is a wine and a producer that I discovered uh, when attending one of my best friend's weddings in the beautiful Santorini in Greece. Um, and this wine is um, by the producer Yaya and the grape variety, it looks very complicated, but it's a Certico. Now the vines are 80 years plus um, and that creates really concentrated fruit flavor. They are all trained really low to the ground in sort of a circular basket style. And that means that the grapes are sort of in the middle of this basket and they're protected from the wind and the sun um, which can really you know play havoc with the grapes so quite an unusual style of, of um, grape growing over there now this style in particular is um, is really special so not only have we got that wonderful grape variety but the winemaking is very very complex involved in this um, they ferment the um, the grapes in a combination of uh, tank, American and French oak and ceramic as well so all that wonderful complexity right from the start. They also um, use as it says here wild ferment so that just means rather than having sort of packaged yeast so if you imagine like the yeast that you'd use for bread for example if you use something packaged it's very controlled you know what you're getting it's exactly the same for wine um, but then when you use wild yeast you don't know what you're getting it creates uh, lots of different styles and if you've got lots of different batches um, fermenting at the same time with um, wild yeast you'll get all different sort of nuances and then when you blend them together you get a beautifully complex wine it's very um, sort of smoky and kind of um, sea salty sort of saline um, character in it which comes from the volcanic soils that the vines are grown on but it's also got really lovely, lovely sort of citrus um, peel notes and also um, acacia as well, so a, a um, floral note that goes throughout it. Complex, textural, beautiful long finish, really interesting, absolutely great with um, seafood. Decanter gave it 93 points, it's got lots and lots of awards behind it um, and it's normally uh, 48 at the moment, it's now $42 for you, exclusive to us, weird, wonderful, fabulous, give it a go. Finally, I've got a really wonderful Portuguese white wine for you. This is from Symington Family Estate and this is a range that we've covered before, the Altano. Um, absolutely wonderful. This is a blend of um, indigenous uh, white grape varieties like Malvasia Fina, Viacino, etc. The list goes on. Um, all weird and wonderful, but combined, they just make this beautiful, elegant wine, but that's got body and texture as well. 
So it's got really delicious um, tropical notes balanced out by some apple and then citrus notes as well with hints of floral character on top. Um, it's really sort of, like I said, more medium bodied style of wine and it's got this really lovely long finish, um, which is refreshing, but it's also got a slightly rounded character to it as well. Really versatile, so it, this would be great with, uh, you know, chicken dishes, um, fish dishes as well. Um, it will stand up to quite a lot of kind of, you know, spice on, on the dishes. It's an exclusive range to us. It's quite unusual, but it's absolutely Moorish and delicious. It's normally only $26, but we've got it on offer for you at the moment moment at 22. A really wonderful wine and I really think you should try it. Thank you for joining me again this week uh, looking at some fabulous weird and wonderful white wines. I really hope this has inspired you to not only try these wines but also pick up some of those ones that are from sort of regions you've not heard of or great varieties you're unsure of because often that's where all the treasure's buried. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again next time.